Hello Divination and welcome to our brand new mini series creating client documentation to empower your clients and save you time. In this mini series we'll be showing you five ways you can create client documentation with the primary purpose of educating and empowering your clients while you save time in the process. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom WordPress dashboard for your clients. Creating this custom dashboard will save you time responding to emails and speaking on the phone. You can add videos, links and articles to this page. When your client logs into their dashboard, they get a personalized experience. They don't have to get in touch with you to ask you questions about WordPress or DV because all this can be embedded on this page. Now Josh goes through four main areas which are a must on this page to make sure that this page really gets the results that you're looking for, which is saving you time. So without wasting a lot of time, let me go through these four items with you and explain why they are important. Okay, so the first one here is creating a custom walkthrough video. Now, this video can save you a lot of time and effort because what you're doing here is you're recording majority of the things that your client is likely going to ask you or um, something that you see coming up as you speak to more and more clients. So this video actually answers those questions. Now, there are tools to create this. I mean, I use ScreenFlow. Uh, this is for the Mac and uh, there's also Camtasia Studio if you're on a PC. So this video is actually very important because clients can refer back to those videos because it's likely that if you go through most of the things they need to do on their website after it's completed, they are going to forget. So having this video does a very good job of that. So let's go on to the next item, which is about your site. Now, because this website is built using Divi, it's likely that clients obviously have not mastered Divi. So we have linked a resource in the show notes below, which is fantastic because what it is, it's a plugin that has all the videos which pretty much go through how DV works and they're well-made videos, which are absolutely free. So go ahead, download that plugin and install it. And this will give you information that you need to pass on, on to your clients. So the benefits of using this plugin is you spend less time working on support because a lot of clients obviously want you to be there to guide them every step of the way. So this plugin does a fantastic job. Okay, so let's move on to number three about WordPress. And again, um, this is where the client needs to understand the basics of WordPress, which means things like updating the website plugins, updating um, the actual core system, which is WordPress, and any other things that may the client may need to learn. So again, what we've done here is we, we've included a resource, which is wp101.com. They have fantastic videos about WordPress, but there are also other areas or other sites that have all these free resources and again you could create your own resources and link them or provide these to your client so by providing these resources on how to use wordpress actually saves you a lot of time because you don't have to go to each and every client and explain to them or teach them how wordpress works all right so let's more let's move on to number four which is the resources so again the resources is very, very important because this is where you get to add all the information you need. Examples here are basic SEO practices, basic Facebook advertising, and how to use Google Analytics. Majority of the information that needs to go on the client's um, resources page will be covered in the next video, but this is just a snapshot of what sort of things can be added onto the resources page. So before we get started, you're going to need two plugins. So the first plugin is a plugin that allows you to customize your dashboard. And the second plugin has all the videos that are required to cover the basics of Divi. These two plugins are free and I've linked them in the show notes below. All right, so let me show you how to create this page. Okay, so I've logged into my WordPress admin and I'm right here in my dashboard. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to our plugins, click add new. So the plugin I'm going to search for is called custom dashboard page. And it's the first one that comes up here. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. And then after installing, I'm going to go ahead and activate it. 
Okay, so now that is um, activated, the next thing I'm gonna do is to add a new page. So I'm gonna go to pages and add new. So the reason why we're building this page is because this is the page that will have all the information that we need to add to it. All right, so I'm going to call this page dashboard. Now it's important that we don't use the Divi Builder here because for some reason the plugin doesn't work if we use the Divi Builder. So we have to enter everything manually. So I wanna go ahead and paste all the information that needs to go here. Okay, so this is all the information that needs to go on the page. What I'm gonna do here quickly is to show you because right now you can't see clearly what this is all about. So let me show you what this page uh, pretty much looks like. So I'm just gonna click publish. So if I click view page, we are able to see everything that's on this page. So as I mentioned before, this is our video and this is our video outline. So it has all the um, points of what I discussed at what point in time. And then here about your website, this is where I show the client where the training is. And after installing the next plugin, it's gonna be right here where it says DV training and this is how it looks like. Okay, and then down here below about WordPress, this is where we can link to resources where your client can learn about more about WordPress. And then finally, these are the client resources, which I mentioned before that we'll be covering in more detail in the next video. But this is where you get to link to further training or your own training about how the client can better use their website. Okay, so let's go back in and uh, do some more editing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is the titles. I'm just gonna make the titles bold. So I'm just gonna highlight all the titles and just make them bold like this. Okay, so now that all our titles are bold, I'm gonna go ahead and click update. And now let's go and set up this dashboard. So I'm gonna come here to CDP settings. So what we need to do here is to assign a page to the dashboard. So the page we need to assign here is the one that we've just created and it's called dashboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click update options. And then now if I go to the dashboard, you'll see that it's turned into this. So now it has all this information that I've just, that I just showed you. So that's looking really good. Use this as a guideline. You can go ahead and add even more items here. This is up to you depending on how your workflow is and to what extent you want your content to be. Okay. so. The next thing we're gonna do now is to install the next plugin. I wanna go ahead and install that plugin. So to install the plugin, I'm gonna to go to, I'm gonna to go to plugins, click on add new, and then I'm gonna click on upload plugin because this plugin is already downloaded onto my downloads folder. So I'm gonna click choose file. So in my downloads folder, this is the plugin that we need. It's called WMDV training. So I'm gonna double click on that, click on install now. I'm gonna click activate. Okay, so now that it's activated, to access all that training, all we have to do is to come here to this Divi icon and right here at the bottom, you click on Divi training and this gives you access to all the training. So you can go into these tabs and this will just go straight to whatever training is on that tab. So this is how you create your custom WordPress dashboard for your clients. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. So subscribing and following us on our social media platforms ensures that you are notified every time we post a video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.